Now, see here this question is based on the capillary tube. We have done the formula, this is a, that is ascent formula and also that is applicable for descent formula. So, now see this question, water rises in a capillary tube to a height 2 centimeter. In an another capillary tube whose radius is one third of it, how much water will rise? So, see here the first part. So, there are the two capillary tube, one has got radius R1 is equal to 2 centimeter and R2 is equal to R1 by 3 that is given in the question. Now, we have to check it how much water will rise if the radius reduces to 1 by 3. We can know the, the write this formula h is equal to 2s cos theta upon r rho g, r is the radius of the tube, h is a height to which the liquid rise, it means h is proportional to 1 by r. So, we can write h 2 upon h 1 is equal to r 1 upon r 2 that is here this we can write here now in this case h 2 by 2 is equal to r 1 upon r 1 by 3 this this cancel to so, h 2 is equal to 6 centimeter. So, the liquid in the second capillary tube whose radius is one third of the first is rising to the 6 centimeter. Now, see the next part of the question. In first capillary tube is if the first capillary tube is inclined at an angle of 60 degree. So, first capillary tube which was like this now it is inclined with the vertical at an angle of 60 degree. What will be here the now the position of the water in the tube. Now, see suppose initially capillary tube was like this and the rise of the liquid was here up to the height of 2 centimeter. Now, this capillary tube is inclined like this and this angle is of 60 degree. We can easily calculate this, this is suppose x. We can write here cos theta is equal to 2 upon x. So, x is equal to 2 upon cos 60 that is 1 by 2, so that is 1 by 2. So, x is equal to 4 centimeter. If the capillary tube is inclined with an angle of 60 degree from the vertical, then the position of the water will be here that is a 4 centimeter.